F-U-N stands for finally understanding nothing. Yay! Let's go. Let's rock. These TV personalities had what it took to keep us watching week after week. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 infamous reality TV stars. You lie to me, I'll wipe up the floor with you worse than anybody else who's ever tackled you. For this list, we've chosen those fixtures of the reality TV scene, whose reputations may not be as sterling as some. The bitchier, the weirder, and the dumber, the better. Let's just do it up all together. Number 10, Heidi Montag. Jokes are fun and funny, but when they're at the expense of someone, they're just mean. Resident bad girl Heidi became an iconic frenemy to good girl Lauren on MTV's hit show The Hills. And oh boy, did the cat fights abound. You started a sick little rumor about me. I didn't start any rumor. Really? About you. Nothing? No. 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 You're a stab no. away. Whether she was stabbing her friends in the back, spreading nasty rumors about them, or blowing them off for her boyfriend Spencer Pratt, drama followed Heidi wherever she went making her perfect reality show fodder. This is the quickest way to get me to move out, is move. Oh, you're going to move out if my sister. I just know what's going to do to our relationship. Aside from the plastic surgeries and misguided music career, Montag turned her Hills fame into even more reality show roles, appearing with her now husband on both I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here and Celebrity Big Brother. So I really do. I want to forgive you. And I want to forget you. Number nine. Omarosa Manigault, The Apprentice. In this case, Omarosa has to go. You're fired. Showcased as one of reality TV's most notorious villains, Omarosa was the star we loved to hate. I didn't come here to make friends. I said that from day one. This cunning businesswoman's take no crap attitude won her no friends on season one of The Apprentice. You know, how do you build a relationship with somebody who you can't confide in? So as of now, I'm done with trying to help bring Tammy into the fold. But it was clear she'd set her sights higher than friendship as she ascended towards her career goals. That is like calling the kettle black. See, there you go with your racist, racist terms. What was that she said about black people? Portrayed as highly overdramatic and quick to fight, this boardroom diva was eventually fired for her inability to play well with others. But not before she produced some juicy TV drama. I will say that at times she tends to exaggerate, at times. And she does tend to be somewhat dramatic, and that I think is a sentiment that many folks have within this team and the other team. So juicy, in fact, she's been brought back for the celebrity and all-star versions of the show. But how can you say you stepped up as a leader if you've lost three times, with this loss being your last? Number eight, Farrah Abram. You would argue no matter what I say, yeah, because, because you have a chip you on now. your shoulder and you want to argue instead now. of being accountable. Former cheerleader Farrah was shocked to discover she was pregnant while still in high school. And the odds were not stacked in her favor, with the unfortunate death of her baby's father and her family's opinions making single motherhood even harder than she'd anticipated. Like, I care. I care about everything. Try to take it in. With her story playing out on 16 and Pregnant and eventually Teen Mom, Abram found it difficult to provide for her daughter, leading to a highly publicized sex tape and period within the porn industry. I thought this was my way of embracing my sexuality and being happy for me. Her descent towards the seedier side of reality TV fame keeps us wondering where life will take her next. My plan for the future, number one, is opening up my restaurants. Number seven, Kate Gosselin. That's yucky. Very yucky. Tiger mom Kate knew what it took to keep her eight kids and husband John in line on this popular show that ushered her young family into the spotlight. John, you need to take a break and help me clean. I just want to roll this off of here. Well, I'm doing this. Just can you wait five seconds? But the pressures of public stardom and their large brood, consisting of twins and sextuplets, slowly unraveled their marriage. She just like snapped. And John left his wife and the show. Our marriage fell apart and I felt like I was free. Finally ditching her signature reverse mullet, Kate soldiered on with the same determination that made her a mommy icon, with appearances on other reality shows like Dancing with the Stars, Celebrity Wife Swap, you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Then let it happen. And Celebrity Apprentice, Kate's one mama we wouldn't want to mess with. Now it's mommy's turn. <laughs> Number six, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. What 
what happens when you take two privileged, silver-spooned socialites and drop them in real-world situations? Reality TV gold. Can't believe you guys, you know, I guess I know better than to leave you unattended. While these ladies might have already scored some mild fame by always being at the forefront of Hollywood nightlife and <clears throat> Paris's infamous sex tape, this show skyrocketed them to superstardom by showcasing their mischievous nature Would you like a lap dance, dear? and cunning wit as they attempted to assimilate into a working class lifestyle. Who knew you could wake up a cow with the bell? Thank God we bought these shoes. The first celebs who became famous for being famous, Nicole later branched out into other art forms, while Paris remained a staple of reality TV, popping up in various shows ever since. She's I never touched Jen boobs. <laughs> they are big. She's <laughs> soft. Big if I put a <laughs> yeah. Number five, Richard Hatch. I have a request for 69 bottles of beer. Anybody others? You might remember him as that naked dude. This iconic reality show's very first million dollar winner remains one of TV history's most calculating and manipulative personalities. With overflowing confidence, an aloof attitude, and a tendency to spend his time nude in an attempt to toy with the comfort levels of his competition. People think, oh, that hatch, why hasn't he got clothes on? But uh, that's just the way it is. Richard's tactics were deliciously fun to watch and helped make the fledgling series a success. 79 bottles of beer on the wall, 79 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around, 78 bottles of beer on the wall. Showing us all how a little plotting can really pay off and can lead you to be brought back as an all-star or for Celebrity Apprentice. But is there anything else that you think that people should know about you? Well, probably lots that people should know about me, but yeah. they never will. That's mm -hmm. just not the nature of the beast. Number four, Nicole Snooky Polizzi. Whoa. This kid just hit her. <laughs> it took a lot to stand out from the crazy cast of this MTV reality show, but Snooky had the charisma, spunk, and charm to set her apart from her castmates as the show's iconic mascot. I actually named his penis Moby Dick. With her signature bump hairdo, this wild child's partying ways landed her in some hot water and started plenty of heated arguments with both cast members and club goers alike. I'm embarrassed. Fuck my life. But these antics landed her a book deal, her own spin off show, and a permanent place in reality TV history. I will teach you how to be a woman. Yes, yeah, please. Making her one Jersey girl we won't soon forget. And then this one girl starts like charging me like a fing hippo. <laughs> Number three, Ozzy Osbourne. Who pissed at my fing carpet? That bastard fing dog man. While he was already known as the Prince of Darkness and one of rock and roll's craziest musicians, it's the former Black Sabbath frontman's domestic antics that made him a household name. In middle America, at least. Whether it was his almost unintelligible speech, his inability to figure out modern technology, or his tendency to seem not all there. Ozzy and his family quickly became some of the small screen's most eccentric and beloved characters. But beneath all the craziness was a close knit family who stuck together through thick and thin making the Osbournes one of America's favorite reality TV families. <laughs> Number two, Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson. Mama, Glitzy's tearing up my pants, Mama! Alana stood out among her sequent peers in TLC's Toddlers and Tiaras due to her hyper go-go juice adventures and hilarious on-camera interviews. My special juice is gonna help me well. Sassy and straight talking, Honey Boo Boo and the rest of her clan were like the reality show car wreck you couldn't look away from. I need these to see ya. Eventually landing her own show, highlighting her equally fascinating and offbeat family life, this little diva was the crown jewel in TLC's reality show legacy. <laughs> sure, her show was unceremoniously cancelled amid scandal, but we can't wait to see where she ends up next. A dollar makes me holler, Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable, or in this case, dishonorable, mentions. Romance, romance, romance. Oh, I can't get enough of that romance. Romance and the life for guns kind. Thank you. You hear that? Listen, can you hear that gobbling? 
It sounds like a turkey. You hear it? I'm being dead serious. You know, because a lot of people eat tuna, it's like a lot of people eat chicken. So it's like the chicken of the sea. Okay, I understand that. I was, I read it wrong. My eyes are like light green, and my whole life I could like look at a girl and they pierce and their heart melts, and pretty soon the vagina falls off, and there it is. I mean, I have about a million questions I'd like to know about my grandmother, but obviously some people don't give a f so. Sandra's it's not like, all about you all the time. The tabloids just come up with these rumors, people that I'm dating, you know, what can you do? Number one, Kim Kardashian. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Before she was Mrs. Kanye West, Kim was known mostly as a socialite, for a notorious sex tape and for her well-endowed backside. But this reality show following the daily life of her and her privileged Hollywood family breathed life into her fledgling career. Hi. I'm dying. Lighting a fuse of fame that has made her one of the most recognizable faces in current celebrity news. You're so stupid. Shut up, Chloe. It's rude and high-class fashion circles the world over. This curvy beauty has ascended the ranks from pretty face to bona fide icon, for better or worse. The fact that Kanye has just thought this out so clearly and perfectly, you can just feel how special this is. Do you agree with our list? Which reality show stars keep you glued to your TV screen? You thought this was going to be easy? No, ma'am. It's not going to be easy. Uh, oh, it's not an answer. Well, well it's not an answer. Uh, oh, it's not an answer. Um, um it's not an answer. Yeah. For more television top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What a horrible nightmare. Yo, dog, you're supposed to be sleeping. Ah! Ah!